friends, it's Sean Vig with SeanVigFitness.com filming my personal yoga workout today. When I do my own yoga routines on my own, this is the kind of stuff I do. I'm standing on a rock right now. We're not going to do it on the rock. We'll do it over the driveway. We'll do it everywhere we can. You can take this workout, do it anywhere at any time. It is perfect for men and women. Always remember that. Just because it's a guy who's doing the video, I get a lot of emails about this or comments like, is this, is this good for women too? Of course it is. Of course it is. It's yoga. It's universal. It works for everybody. Um, so don't worry about that. Just follow along with me. Modify as needed. It's windy today. So I think I'm going to do a voiceover, which I haven't done in a long time. So I'll just film it. I'll take it into my loft office. I'm going to do the voiceover. Keep it cool. Keep it pithy and uh, all that. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with everybody you know, tag and share. I really appreciate that. And uh, pre-order my new book, Power Yoga for Athletes. It's going to be huge. Comes out in May. There's a link right up there. Go get your copy right now. All right, that's enough talk, my friends. Let's get on the mat and do something incredible today. All right, my friends, it's Sean Vegan voiceover here. I hope you like my voice because you're going to hear it for the next 40 minutes. What I'm saying here is I'm wearing my gloves because it's a little chilly out, but in the sun, I'm warm. It's a weird contradiction, but don't worry about that, my friends. Get your mat. Let's come to a nice hero pose position with the legs and bring the hands together and do some deep breathing to begin this yoga workout. Inhale through the nose, let the top of the head lift tall and exhale the nose as the shoulders relax down and back we're gathering some energy here we're gathering some power so let the oxygen just drown those muscles now inhale bring the arms up keeping the palms together exhale slowly bring the hands down feel the lift through the chest inhale lift up as you reach the fingers up keep the shoulders down Exhale, draw back down, squeeze every drop of breath from the lungs every time. Little smile, inhale, lift up. Little back bend coming in. Exhale, sinking back down, fixing that posture. Again, inhale, lift a little higher. Back bend, shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, bring those hands back down, squeezing every drop of breath. Now, once again, bring those arms up. Back bend, going even further. Hands drawing down right to heart center. Take the arms, drop them down to the sides. Inhale, lifting up. Fingertips together, reaching back. And then cactus arms. Really pull those shoulders and elbows back. Eyes up to the sky. And again, inhale, lifting up the back bend. Of course, stretching the back, but really hitting the abdominals. And we have cactus arms again. Cool shadow on the driveway. Exhale down. Again, inhale. This was great to film because I could just really focus on the workout. Exhale, cactus arms. Really pull those arms back. Open the bones of the chest so the breath can just flow right in there. Again, inhale, lifting. Fingertips together going a little further as your body warms up. Cactus arms. Elbows pulling back. Relax the jaw. And bring those hands down. Come up to forward fold. Keep a little bend in the knees. And walk the legs one at a time, adding a little bit of a twist. Relax the neck. Let the crown of the head, that is the top of your head, point directly towards the ground. Lots of breath. This is an inversion. Inversion means your head is lower than your waist. So very important to breathe extra. If you need to modify anything, make sure you modify. Inhale, rolling up. Take the arms up over the head. Back bend, fingertips together. Exhale, cactus arms. Powerful move. Diving back down into forward fold. And let's walk those legs. Add a little twist. See how I'm twisting? The hips are moving. This one targets you way up into the shoulders and the back as the whole spine and hamstrings get a massive stretch. Addie, my dog back there, is not amused, but in a moment she may join us. Good. Walk those legs. Relax the neck. Let the gravity tug the head down. Inhale, lifting back up. Stack the spine and back bend. Tummy shot. Open the arms. Cactus pose. Cactus arms. Diving down, squeeze out the breath, inhale, rolling back up, back bend. I'm already feeling a lot looser here. Exhale, cactus arms quickly, 
diving down, dun, 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 squeeze out the breath, inhale, lift, unwind that spine, get those spine muscles warmed up, cactus arms, and head goes first, diving down, squeeze the breath out, inhale, lifting back up, back bend, this is so good for your posture, it's hard to explain it, you just got to do it, cactus arms, diving back down, inhale, lift, back bend, and then into side bend to the right, both arms up, inhale, center, exhale to the other side. We're going to keep moving this, you know, we flow from pose to pose, exhale, cactus arms, diving down, put the weight in the toes a little bit, inhale, rolling back up, taller each time, and side bend again to the right, exhale, squeeze out the breath, inhale, center, lift, and exhale to the left. Inhale, cactus arms, look at the biceps, and then diving down, forward fold. Inhale, rising back up, back bend, cactus arms. Little lip trill there, diving down, forward fold. Now turn, my friends, downward facing dog, open the fingers wide. As you exhale, sink those heels down. Let's walk those legs, 10 steps, not 39 like Alfred Hitchcock. Let's do 10 eyes to the knees. Make sure you are breathing here. In the nose, out the nose. If you have obstructions in the nostrils, the more you breathe, they will open up. Good. Add that twist. Feels so nice. Now jump or walk the feet forward and then rising all the way up. Back bend. Exhale. Cactus arms. Side view. Check the dog <laughs> and diving down. Flat back. Now, fingertips on the mat or the shins. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Long spine. Exhale, release. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. You can take the fingertips off the mat if you like. Exhale, forward fold. Just the shirt. Step back. Downward facing dog. Open the fingers wide. Inhale, forward. Plank position. I have a love affair with planks. As you inhale, lift up a little bit. Exhale, flex your abdominals. See how I'm doing that? So here's the inhale up. Exhale, flatten out the abs. Really squeeze them. I call these plank crunches. Inhale, lift. Exhale, flex. A great lesson. Anywhere you are, exhale, flex the abdominals. Now hover. Lower down. Knees can drop if you need to. Lots of hovers in this flow, my friends. There's the smile into the sun. And then inhale up. This is cobra. I'm drawing my shoulders back. My elbows are into the side, squeezing my glutes. Exhale, lower down. And then on the next exhale, back to downward facing dog. Walk or jump the feet forward. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Top of the head down. Inhale, flat back again. Draw those shoulders back. Length in the body. Exhale, forward fold. Every muscle working. Inhale, flat back. Good fingers. You can also take the arms forward. Little Superman. Now, forward fold. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, bring it forward. Lunge position, hands down. Ooh, a little sway. Or bring the arms all the way up, fingertips together. Stretch that left leg. Press that left heel towards the mat. Make sure there's a right angle in your front leg. Here comes a beast. Now step back to plank position. Lower down, hover. She's not interested this time. Whatever happens, my friends, here's upward facing dog. Lift up. You can stay with the cobra or up dog. Squeeze your glutes, drop the shoulders back. Exhale, back to down dog. Now inhale, left leg up. Exhale, sweep it forward. Let's do the lunge on the other side. The visitor has come back. Filming anywhere, anytime, my friends. Never know what's going to happen. We just keep on going. I never know what beast may come by. We're in the crescent lunge. Bring the hands down. Step back. Plank. Hover pose, elbows hugging the rib cage all the way down, smooch the mat, lace the fingers, and Addie is just too intrigued, and now she has disappeared. So mudra, lift right here. <laughs> lace the fingers, palms together if you can, lift the legs up, opening the chest. Now press up, 
to upward facing dog or cobra exhale back to down dog smush those heels down inhale right leg up sweep it forward reverse lunge left arm up right hand can be on your right thigh or bring the arm to your lower back each inhale lift each exhale go back exhale bring the hands down step back plank hover Hover, stay off the mat a few moments, and then lace those fingers again into that mudra position. So good for your shoulders and chest. Lift the legs to activate the glutes. Hands under the shoulders, press up to up dog or cobra. Oh, up to the sky, and then exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, sweep it forward, reverse lunge. We got the right arm up. Those gloves are looking pretty damn good. Reach that right arm up and back, a little bit of a diagonal. Reaching, reaching with each breath, that right leg. Oh, I should have straightened it more. I apologize. Exhale, bring the hands down, step back. Plank position, forward a little bit. There's your hover, building mass of strength. And there's Superman pose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lift a little bit. Every muscle working in the backside of your body. Hands on the shoulders, press to up dog or cobra. Now, add the twist here, my friends. I love this twist. Feels great on my spine. It activates my lower back. This looks cool. Exhale, back to down dog. Now, jump or walk the feet forward. And then rolling all the way up. Back bend. Dancer pose, left arm forward, bend that right leg, grab the foot or ankle, stay here, or extend that left arm forward more and press the right foot up towards the sky. My dancer is a little tight, my right quad's a little tight, but with each inhale, I'm pressing the toes up. Now keep the right knee in close. Bring the foot down, diving down, forward fold. Flat back with the inhale. And then step or jump back, plank position, let's go through a flow. Here's hover. Up dog or cobra, relax the throat, relax the jaw, exhale back to down dog. And jump or walk forward, forward fold, inhale lifting all the way up, back bend. And dancer pose, other side, right arm forward, grab the left foot, you can grab the inside, a little more challenging. With each inhale, press that foot up. Don't be discouraged, my friends. You can stay in that first pose with the knees together and then work from there. Yoga will meet you wherever you want it to. Bring the feet down. Inhale, back bend and cactus arms. Exhale, diving down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, stepping back, plank position. Inhale, open the right arm up, and we're going to do five pulses here. Exhale, forward, inhale, lift. Little delicious side bend. Enjoy the belly button. Exhale, reach. If I knew that in Sanskrit, I would tell it to you. Let's do it two more times, my friends. Big extension, lengthen the whole body in that side bend. Come back to plank and other side. Exhale forward, inhale back. If you want more, you can stack the legs in this one. I decided to keep the legs staggered. I was feeling a little crazy. Exhale three. Let's take it two more times exhale reach inhale and lengthen that entire body come back to plank position and hover lots of hovers take your time get to know your mat reach those arms back again lace the fingers lift the legs if you like and bring the heels together to activate the legs a little more or bend the legs going into bow pose grab the feet or the ankles Press the toes up with the inhale. Again, my quads are a little tight. You can see that in the pose, but I'm doing the pose to make them looser. That is why we do the yoga. All right, release the feet down. Press up. Plank position. Back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, bring it forward. Warrior stance. Pivot the back foot out. Reach the right arm up. Reverse warrior. Very powerful pose. Slide the left hand down the left leg. Each exhale, go a little bit further. You can also take the left arm to your lower back. Inhale, bring the arms up. And either take the forearm to the leg or proud warrior. Fingertips down on the mat, reach the left arm up. Flex those legs. You can also take the left arm to the lower back. Draw that left shoulder back with each exhale. Open the chest. Open the chest. Sun comes out. Inhale back to reverse warrior. Big stretch down the right side of your body. Take the hands all the way down. Press back. Plank position. Hover. 
bouncing for no reason. <laughs> and then up dog or cobra. Add the twist, my friend. Add that twist. Get some energy in that spine. There's energy in them that are hills. And then exhale back to down dog. Inhale. Left leg comes up. Exhale. Sweep it forward. Pivot right foot out. Lengthen that right leg. Reach the left arm out. And we have reverse warrior. Reverse warrior used to sell a lot of magazines and DVDs. Very beautiful, strong pose. Those pants are really baggy. Just for that one right there. Keep exhaling, going back a little further. Now, forearm down or fingertips on the ground. We have proud warrior. Make your warrior proud. Stolz. Again, right arm can be on the lower back. The nucleus of this stretch is that right shoulder. Each exhale, draw it back. Open the chest. It's an amazing feeling to open up the breath, open up your posture. You'll have so much more energy because of this. All right, reverse warrior, bring it back. Arm up, feel the looseness in the sides. Pinwheel those arms up and over, step back, plank position, hover. And revisiting bow again. Hands on the feet or the ankles. Press those toes up. You do a little rocking motion on the tummy if you like. That's right. I said tummy. And then release. Hands on the shoulders. Press up. Knees are down. And this is a little camel pulse here. Take the arms forward 10 times. We're going to exhale. Pulse back. Inhale up. This is massive for your abdominals and which you'll be feeling right now, your quads and your hip flexors. Arms forward. There we are. Grip my little gardening gloves. <laughs> Exhale back. Inhale up. Go a little further each time. Knees are hip width apart. Your shoulders are relaxed. There we are. Put that tongue away, Sean. There we are. Better. Yep. I got gotcha. you. I was feeling it right there. I know you're feeling it too. Let's feel it together, my friend. Feel it together. Working out together. What a blessing this is. All right. Now, back bend. Hands on your lower back or camel. One arm at a time goes back. Fingertips on the heels. Draw the shoulders back. Open the chest. Try not to drop the head all the way back. It's just going to kink your neck. So keep a little length. There's the Adam's apple. Look at that. That's my opera singing Adam's apple. Bring the hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Good little wiggle in the toes there. Let's walk those legs. Good 10 steps here. There's the twist, my friends. Ringing, ringing and rinsing out the sides. You want those muscles to be loose. You want to loosen everything up. You'll run faster. You'll move better. You'll have more endurance. All right, inhale, right leg up. Sweep the uh, right foot forward. Fix the, the blouse there. Now bring the arms up. Bring your right arm behind your left. This one, you want to really hit those shoulders and back. Press your palms together. Squeeze them together. It's going to activate your upper back and shoulders as you draw them back. The arms, I mean. Of course, your upper body's moving back with it. Keep your chin tucked a little bit. Now, as you exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. This is a very challenging move. You're testing the balance of the lunge, keeping your toes pointed forward as you really squeeze those sides. All right, now hinge forward. Oh, those aching, beautiful, burning shoulders. Oh, that's right. A little earthquake there, obviously. That's why I stumbled. <laughs> as you lengthen those fingers, my friend, draw the shoulders back. All right, yes, bring the hands down. Step back to plank. Hover pose, self-contained gym that you have there. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Your gym, 24-7, your body, the greatest gym you will ever have. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, sweep forward. Lunge position. Now your left arm is going to go behind your right. There we are. Right angle in that left leg. Lengthen that right leg. You see me smile occasionally. I think my neighbors are walking by. I have to smile at them so they don't call the police on me for doing this in my yard. <laughs> Let's twist it. Hi there. Each exhale, twist a little more. Now watch how I'm twisting from my core, my abdominals, my lower back. I'm not just yanking my arms. I'm using the breath to twist from the core. 
think I was watching an elk there also. Yes. There we are. Bring it back to the center and let's hinge. Draw the arms back. They may not come back as far as me. That is fine. I do a lot of yoga. I get my arms back there. I work at it. The more you practice, they will loosen up. You got to be consistent with it. Beautiful. Bring the hands down. Step the left foot back. It's, oh, no, bring the knees down. <laughs> Sorry. Once again, back bend, hands on the lower back, or our dramatic camel, unfiltered. There we are. Open the chest. You can't see it, but visualize your chest being as open as possible, drawing the shoulders back. You will walk so much taller. Everything you will do, you will do so much taller with these moves. All right. Coming to a little catcher squat here. Toes pointed out. Heels a little bit more than hip width. If you want a little more, bring the hands down to the mat. This is fantastic hip opener, stretching in inner thighs, the knees, pressing the hip bone towards the mat, stealing a drink. All right, if you want to go further, this is crow pose. Open the fingers wide and press forward. You can also do this with your toes on the mat. Find the balance, admire the ground, lots of breath. The crow brings the sun out. Not a guarantee. All right, press back to plank and hover poses. Feel really good on those arms and shoulders after the crow. Inhale, reach out into that Superman. Keep breathing into it. Inhale, lift, exhale, lengthen. Long, lean muscles, my friend. Long, lean muscles. Now, hands on the shoulders. Press up. Up dog or cobra. Here's our twist again. I always smile when I do this twist. When I do it at the gym, I smile, it freaks people out, but I love it. It's a wonderful feeling. It's a very free, open feeling. All right, exhale back to down dog. Ah, jump or walk those feet forward. Chair pose. Arms up. I got my arms, you can't see here, a little more than hip, uh, shoulder width apart. Exhale, pressing back into the glutes. Draw those shoulders down as you reach the fingers up. You want more? Cross your right ankle on your left thigh. The one-legged chair, also getting a just a dandy hip opener there. All right, now jump or walk back. One-legged plank into scorpion. Elbows into the sides. Lift that right leg up. The chest is going directly towards the mat. And then up dog or cobra. All right, back to down dog. Jump or walk the feet forward, forward fold. Inhale up to chair once again. Sink down a little more. Use your breath. Your breath will move you into every pose. Option left ankle on the right thigh. Flex that left foot for a little calf stretch, a little calf love. All right, here's that one-legged jump back. Left leg up. Scorpion. Lead with the chest. Grinning like an idiot. <laughs> and then inhale. Yes, up dog or cobra. And a little twist if you like. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale back to downward facing dog. A little movement there. Work the kinks out. Inhale, left leg this time comes up. Sweep it forward. Pivot the foot out into warrior stance. Starting with proud warrior. Arm back. We're going to move into the warrior wrap. This is the sequence here. You can work your way up to this. If you want the wrap, take the left arm underneath your left leg. Bring the fingers together, pull that right shoulder back, and gobs and gobs of breath. Let the breath massage the pose, the power of your breath. Talking to somebody there. All right, now option bird of paradise, right foot steps in, lift up. I have not mastered it. Well, we never really master them. we just practicing it better. Now you can stand. You can keep that left knee bent, or you can see what I'm doing there. Extending the right leg out. Find a focal point. I'm having a moment here. <laughs> I think I'm singing something. All right, step back. Bring it back to your warrior. A couple deep breaths. Inhale, reverse warrior. That's the feeling right there. The sun comes out. Bring it back. Plank position. Hover. Down we go, feeling powerful and balanced. Up dog or cobra, back to down dog. I had a little hole in my sock there. Don't judge me. All right, inhale, right leg up, bring the right foot forward. Here we are, warrior stance. We got proud warrior. Keep on going. 
You can also take that left arm to your lower back, draw the left shoulder back. This is the prep if you want to go to warrior wrap. I was having a moment here. So whenever you want, you can take that right arm underneath the right leg. There you get a nice view there, lacing the fingers together. <sighs> Warrior wrap, stay here, my friend, if you like. This is beautiful. Or you can move into bird of paradise. That's your left foot is going to step forward. Enjoy the backside of Bird of Paradise. I always have to take a moment here. There's a lot happening here. Your shoulders are pulling back and down. Your core is working. It's incredible balance. You're opening your chest. That standing leg, your left leg, is getting a heck of a workout. The knee is a little bit soft. And then return to your warrior. Eyes up to the sky. Inhale, reverse warrior. What a beautiful experience that is. Just beautiful. Exhale, come down. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. We got plank position. Get off my mat, whatever that was. It was a bug. Exhale, hover. Now, a little Pilates plank here. Forearms down. We do 10 pulses. Exhale down, inhale up. Really engaging the shoulders here. So 10 times. I believe this is four. Un fünf. We got five. We got five more times. Keep your body parallel to the mat. Keep your chin tucked a little bit. I'm brushing my nose on my thumb. Yep, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, bring it all the way down. Airplane pose. Take those arms out to the side. Now this one, oh, so you want to sculpt your back and your shoulders right here. Each inhale, lift the arms a little bit higher. My, my upper body and legs are lifting, of course, but I'm really engaging the rear deltoids here. Lifting the arms up, eyes to the ground. You're going to have an option here to do a wide plank in a moment. If you like, hands down, open the fingers wide, and lift up to wide plank. This one makes my arms shake in the most beautiful way. Got shoulders back, engaging the chest, and then bring it down. Inhale, Superman. Keep the breath going. Feel that length in the body. Destroy General Zod. Once again, we have airplane or the wide plank. The, the wider you make it, the you know, further apart your hands go, the more challenging it is. And then lower down again, Superman. Oh, you're going to be about three inches taller after this one, giving your back and your glutes so much good stuff. One more time. One day more. One more time. We got airplane or wide plank. Bring it up. Draw those shoulders back. Drown the muscles in the oxygen. Lots of breathing. And bring it down. Superman, one last time. Palms facing in. Hands on the shoulders. Press it up. Boing! Back to downward facing dog. Let's walk the legs. Good 10 steps here. Add the twist. As you see in these poses, I mean every pose, every part of your body is working together. Your mind and your body are connected. So many muscles going. So you do your yoga, your power yoga. You do this workout with me. By the way, step or walk the feet forward. You will excel at any sport. Inhale, bring the arms up. Back bend. Cactus arms opening wide. Now step a wide stance. Lace the fingers. We have a flat back yoga mudra here. Draw the arms back. little movement side to side. Now, there's a little softness in the knees. And then we sway back and forth. Put the weight into the toes a little bit more. Exhale down, inhale to the side. As you draw those arms back, opening the chest, you must always have control. Control over your movements. As I said, any sport or activity you do, this power yoga will give you a massive, massive edge. Diving down. Wide-legged mudra. And then drop the arms. Inhale, lifting up. Whew, fix the shirt. And then we dive down, bring the feet hip-width apart. Step back, downward-facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bring it forward. Pivot out, warrior. Let's go to that sequence one more time. You got proud warrior. You got the wrap. Guarantee the second time. Feel so much looser. And I know you want to do Bird of Paradise one more time. Here is your chance. Practice. Practice. 
order my Power Yoga for Athletes book, seanvigfitness.com slash PYFA. Just go to the website, bring it back down to Warrior. Comes out May 1st. It's full of poses and flows just like this. All right. Triangle hinging to the right. Right hand on the leg, left arm up, or you can extend that left arm. You want to go further, lace the index, the fingers together, and extend into extreme triangle. Index finger and thumb are out. Squeeze the thighs. Activate your legs. Stay here or go to half moon. Right hand down, fingertips gingerly on the mat, and lift that left leg up. Find your focus. Remember, you know, you can modify any of these. Bring it back to reverse warrior. Great little polish move there. Step back plank. Let's go through our flows. Hover, vinyasa flow right there. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, forward warrior. Gun show. And there we are. We got proud warrior or warrior wrap. W-R-A-P. And the option... Of course, the famous, the classic, the bird of paradise. Right foot comes in, and there we are. I've worked on this one. I've had to practice it a lot. But all the regular yoga you know, workouts I do culminate in this pose. That left leg, of course, could be straighter, but I'm very happy with the progress. Amazing, isn't it? You work hard at something, and uh, you'll get results. Back to your warrior. These poses are never given. You got to earn it. Like the best things in life, you got to work for it. All right, triangle, lengthen the legs, reaching to the left. Left hand to the leg, arm up, and you have the options here. You have extended triangle or extreme triangle. Draw that right shoulder back. You want to be looking right into the very depths of your armpit. Lots of breath, squeeze the sides and then the half moon option taking that right arm up find a focal point see what i'm doing there see where my eyes are i know they dart around a little bit because i'm watching my surroundings but i find a focal point and i go from there reverse warrior get some nice polish on here like we can get your teeth cleaned here's your polish at the end hopefully this is more enjoyable step back to plank all right 50 mountain climbers Bringing those knees in at your own speed. Little surprise here. We hold the plank, keep your body parallel. Breathe into that movement. This one is so great for raising your heart rate, burning some calories, stabilizing your core, and just working the entire body. You want to redefine and transform your whole body. These are the movements. This is the workout. All right, step forward. Forward fold. Give yourself 10 walks here. Really twisting into it, top of the head towards the mat. And I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, geez, I'm a lot more flexible than when I started the workout. You haven't added anything. You've just stripped away all the junk that was in the way. All right, step back. 50 knee across mountain climbers. Bring the knee across, targeting a little more of the obliques. Of course, you're going to feel it burning all the way through your abdominals, but you want those flat abdominals. You want that strong core. Pump the oxygen into the muscles. And the palms are right underneath the shoulders. Draw those shoulders back. Engage the arms and the shoulders. Get the muscle definition in there. A beautiful, balanced, functional body. And then jump those feet forward. Again, 10 walks. Let the heart recover a little bit. It's a little interval training there. Not too much, but you raise the heart rate. You let it go down. This is the most efficient way to burn calories. And you don't have to do all day. You don't have to take all day doing it. Good. There's the twist. All right, inhale, bring it up, back bend, cactus arms, cacti arms. Come to a seated position, fix the sock. I took a drink when I took a drink in the video. That's awesome. Okay, half boat pose, my friends, bring the feet together. So let's do some core work here, arms out to the sides or up. Ten times, inhale, press out, exhale, bring the knees back in. Inhale out, exhale in. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath on this one. If it's too much, just hold the half boat pose. We got 10 times total. 
The arms up is much more challenging. It takes out some of that balance that you can do. This makes the core work harder. Now, straddle. Take the arms forward, hinge forward with the exhale. Massive stretch, inhale up, working the core. Exhale forward. Lift a little bit higher, reach a little bit longer. You can take the arms a little out to the sides. Definitely works the back a little more. All body weight. Can you? Isn't this just amazing? Everything you've done here is stuff that is built into you. All right, one more time. Boat or half boat, inhale out, exhale. And this time flex the feet as you press out. That's going to really target your calves and your glutes a little more. Inhale, press, exhale in. Balancing, working all those muscles. The core is just stabilized and it's working the hardest of anything. Lots of smiles, all smiles. I didn't have to talk in the video. All right, straddle stretch once again. This is the little side bend lift 10 times back and forth little flash dance move here so exhale as you reach there's three inhale back to center don't break your tailbone bring yourself down nice and gentle good exhale extend a little further each time the hand comes right underneath the shoulder but anyway i had more energy i didn't have to talk during the video I love talking during the video, but I could actually really focus on the breath and just work out like I would normally work out. Bring it down onto your back. Little ab sequence here. Put you cross the right leg over the left. We're going to reach side to side 20 times. Here's two. Exhale up, inhale back. Three, uh, four, five, <laughs> six, seven. Lift your tailbone up a little bit. Nine times. Ten. Ten more times. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Lift a little higher. Fourteen. Fifteen. We got five more. Sixteen. 17. Squeeze those abs. 18, 19, 20. All right. Switch the legs. Left leg in front. Blow on the barrel. And then we got 20 more. Here's three, four, five, six, seven. Shred those abdominals. Beautiful, strong abs. 10 more times. You got it. It's all yours. This is your workout. You take it and do it anywhere, anytime. Five more to look and feel your very best. All right, come on down. <sighs> now you can stay here in this position or lift up to shoulder stand. You got that? You can keep your back down if you want. Hands on the lower back. Going to do some bicycles or you can drop your arms down to the mat. So there we are. Here's your shoulder stand with the bicycle. We got 10 times each direction. Four. Stay lifted in the core. Five. Six. Seven, that's hypnotic, isn't it? Eight, <laughs> nine, and ten. Now, let's go backwards. Here comes the chain. Click, 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 click. Ten times backwards. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now, here's an option. Exhale lower down to plow. And then lift up to shoulder stand. You can stay in shoulder stand if you like or on your back. You want more? Oh, take the arms over the head. We're doing 10 of these, by the way. That's three. Total body control. Just imagine what this does to your core muscles. This kind of control here. I want to get my legs a little bit higher. There we go. There's so much balance going on. I'm nestled on my shoulders here. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. You remember, you can keep your arms on the mat the other direction if you like for more of a foundation. Okay, now bring it down to plow. If plow is too much, just go on your back and pull the knees into your chest. We're going to hang out here for just a little bit. Lots of deep breaths. Keep your neck relaxed. Each exhale, lengthen from the back of your knees. If you don't want the arms overhead, you can, you know, do them the other way, the other direction. You just saw I open my legs there if you want to do a little wide-legged plow too. I think that's legal in Colorado, wherever you live. I don't know if it is. So keep on breathing, eating the string of my jogging pants there. Good. Massive spine stretch. Now we're going to come up and over into a vinyasa flow. So roll up, step back to plank, and hover slowly. Take your time to get there. I mean, I knew what I was going to do, so it was quickly... Brush the nose on the plank, hover, 
Ah, there we are. We got Up Dog or Cobra, and there is the twist. We'll just call this a Sean Vig twist. Have you make sure you subscribe, you subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment below what your favorite pose in it, share with all your friends, share this video on all social media. Let's all enjoy it together. All right, exhale back to Down Dog. Ah. <sighs> Really sink those heels down. Give that full body stretch right there. The neck is loose. Give the neck a little, little no shake back and forth. Ah, we're almost there, my friend. What a fantastic experience this has been. But let's finish strong. Walk the hands a little further forward. Get a little of that bend in the lower back. A little hip side to side. Lots and lots of breath. All right. Coming to plank position. I'm going to lower down, hover once again, bringing the sun out. And then up dog or cobra, squeeze the glutes, twisting, twisting, loose and limber. What a wonderful thing. Just roll out of bed in the morning, feeling great. Kick. <laughs> sometimes you kick, sometimes you get kick. Exhale back, downward facing dog. All right, let those knees come down. Let's come back to our original position. Hero pose, you are, the, you are the hero of this workout. Remember that. All right, bring those palms together again, shoulders back and down. Take some deep breaths here. Find that center. Find that focus. Bringing it all back together. You can feel those moves just circulating through your system right now. Inhale, lift. Exhale, shoulders down. Feel that release and that power, that calm determination. Inhale, arms coming up, palms together, a little back bend. Exhale, cactus arms, deja vu. But feel the difference. How different does your body feel now? Bring those palms together again. Inhale, lift, back bend. Exhale, open, open that chest. Shoulders sliding down the back. Palms together, inhale. Again, inhale, lift up, back bend. Open cactus arms. Your posture will never be any better than it is right now. Of course, until the next time you do one of my yoga or Pilates workouts. Hands together, shifting the weight a little bit. Inhale, bring those palms up again. Back bend. Exhale, bring those hands back down slowly to heart center. And namaste, my friend. Amazing. Voice over. Done. All right, my friends. Namaste to you. God bless to you. Thank you for joining me today. And that's this, just an example of the kind of yoga workouts I do on my own, my own personal workouts. I teach these moves a lot, but I like to get away on my own, away from everything, and just take like a half hour to an hour and go nuts. There's a lot of power yoga in there. You saw some core work. We're mixing it up. I mean, it's always, always changing it up at seanvfitness.com. Make sure you order my new book, Power Yoga for Athletes. If you love this workout, you got to get the book. The link is right up there. And if you want to train with me every damn day, I have my online training program. Very popular. You get full-length workouts, over 60 of them, that you won't find anywhere else. The link is also right up there called Sean's Vault. And, uh, oh, a lot of you ask about the supplements that I take. You can check that out on my webpage, seanvfitness.com. You're already going there. Look up under my supplements find out the supplements that I take every day I've been doing them for about five years now and I just love them keeps me strong keeps me healthy energized to do the things I love to do which is uh, keep moving bringing these videos to do teaching having a good time corralling Addy over there and uh, I've said too much thank you very much for wa watching make sure you like subscribe share with everybody I appreciate it and leave a comment below I love getting comments it keeps these free videos just coming and coming that's what she said. All right, my friends, God bless. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time.